about you. Mm. And I'm also a massacre. I'm home. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. We just came to surprise you tonight. God bless you. Wherever you are, keep on sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. The Lord bless you tonight. 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 That is how the coming of Christ will be like. You'll be like rapture. He will come unaware when we least expect. Are you ready? Am I ready? Are we going to be ready? Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight we just want to bless God with you guys. We thank you for coming and sharing and we give God praise for your lives. I'm not only here tonight but I'm here with um, Mama Araba and her team, Mama Ivy, great men of God, Mr. Samuel Bote and Mama Araba, that's Mama Araba's husband. And I'm here with Brother Jeffrey as well. So it's a full package tonight. You cannot remain the same. I mean, I mean, it, it, it's an error to remain the same. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight, wherever you are, I just want you to open your mouth and just begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless 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 the Lord, bless the Lord, somebody bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Prince of Peace. Thank you, Yahweh, for your presence. We give you praise. We worship your majesty, O God. Who can be compared unto you, O God? Who is there like you, Jesus? From eternity unto eternity, from generation to generation, you remain the same, you change your not. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. We give you praise. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. We bless your name, Jesus. 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 Somebody say, We bless your name. Come on, we bless your name. We bless your name, oh God. We bless your name, my Lord. Somebody bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord, of the Lord. Nobody is like you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We bow before you, Lord. That's nobody like you. That's nobody like you. That's nobody like you. That's nobody like That's nobody like you, Lord. That's nobody like you, Lord. From generation to generation, from eternity to eternity. You're the Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. Nobody is like you. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Come on, let everything that has breath worship the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, Lady Masoya. Let everything that has breath bless the name of the Lord. Somebody bless 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 the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Come on, open your mouth and begin to bless the Lord. Come on, open your mouth and begin to bless the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord from your heart. Let everything that has breath bless the Lord. Somebody bless Jesus. Somebody lift his name on high. Somebody exalt the name of the Lord. Give on the eye. 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 
Somebody bless the Lord, 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 bless the Lord. Your spirit begin to grow. Sometimes you pray and get to a state where you don't even know what to say again. Have you gotten to a place where you pray and pray and pray? You have prayed and prayed and prayed and you don't know what to say again. That is when your spirit begins to say, hey. Your spirit begins to say, hey. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Beloved, we're going to worship the Lord, but hear me out. Please hear me out. We have got into a stage where we have to know that what we are worshiping is bigger than what people say. We are coming to close of the day and close of the years and close of the end. The end is here. And whether you believe it or not, you must, you must understand that the end is here. Everything testifies that the coming of Christ is here. Beloved, Jesus is coming again. We cannot just open our mouth and let melodies be worship. What is worship without a lifestyle of holiness? Without a lifestyle of righteousness? Without a lifestyle of obedience to the Lord? Somebody shout it! about time we go before God in holiness. True worship is a life of holiness. True worship is a life that pleases the Lord. True holiness is a life that obeys the Lord, that obeys the voice of the Lord, that obeys the Lord promptly, beloved, because a delayed obedience is still disobedience. I said that delayed obedience is still disobedience, beloved. Father, give us the grace to live holy for you. Father, give us the grace to yield to your will. Give us the grace to yield to your word. Oh, come the level, Saya. How can a young man keep his ways pure? It's only by living and living in accordance with the word of God. David said, Your word has sin against you Lord in this end time give us the grace to live right for you give us the grace oh God to please you give us the grace oh God give us a pure heart a pure heart oh God is what we pray for true worship is a lifestyle of holiness true worship is a lifestyle of righteousness it is you having a right standing with the Lord Jesus it is me having a right standing with the Lord Jesus it is me separating myself from the things of the world. It is me separating myself from the carnality of the world. It is me separating myself from anything that does not please the Lord. My Bible tells me that I must hate the world and everything that is in it. Oh, give us a grace, Lord. Oh. Somebody say.
get so many miracle ministries to tomorrow by the grace of God. Beloved, what you're seeing is nothing compared to what the Lord will do tomorrow. I beseech you by the mercies of God that wherever you are tomorrow, we want to uh, we want to invite you in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. With humility, we want to invite you to come over and worship the Lord with us. A mother's worship is something. 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 Tomorrow, wherever you are, tomorrow, wherever you are, tomorrow, wherever you are, you have to come and meet us at Hackney. Candela Bosata. gentlemen are here I'm gonna allow them to talk a little bit and to explain what is about to happen tomorrow by the grace of God and people of God wherever you are if you're driving if you're not driving wherever you are perhaps you're going through some challenges you don't even have anybody to talk to perhaps you've been challenged perhaps you are down spiritually you can't even pray like before wherever you are the sound of my voice tomorrow let's meet Let's meet for on Mount Zion. There shall be deliverance. Yes. People of God, I said on Mount Zion. There shall be deliverance. Tomorrow, if you can only meet us, it's not like Jesus is not here. He is here. But the Bible says that one shall kill a thousand, two shall kill ten thousand, three shall kill how many? You do your mathematics and tell me. If the Lord no day, praise the name of the Lord. It will be a pleasure, it will be an honor for us to meet you there tomorrow. Please don't miss tomorrow because something 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 more than gold beloved something more than gold the spirit of god in the heart of man is something more than gold beloved something more than gold ah, yeah, something more than gold ah the spirit of god in the heart of God. Amen. We thank you so much for giving us this privilege. Is the God. opportunity given us, we are so privileged. Abba. People of God, wherever you are, we bless God for your lives. It's not by mistake of being on this platform. As the woman of God has just said, tomorrow is a special day for mothers and all women. We can't give you money. We cannot buy you clothes or mug as people do on Mother's Day. We cannot give you flowers because they will fade away. But we are going to lead you to touch the heart of God. You are not going to touch the hand of God. I mean the heart of God. Assuming when the heart of God is touched through worship. God bless you. We are at Gethsemane Miracle Ministries, the house of impartation. Tomorrow is Mother's Worship. Don't come alone. Invite somebody and let another person also invite another friend. Don't come late. If not, you are going to miss a lot. Mama Esther is there and the mother of Angelic Kwa, they are all, he, she's also here. By the time you leave the premises, oh, the Bible says, if we worship the Lord, he will bless our land. He will take diseases, sicknesses, barrenness, you can name them. God is going to wipe away your tears. All right. 
we can't just leave this platform without singing. So the mother is here. She's going to give you one or two songs. And afterwards, the man of God himself is coming to give you the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. the address. Let me add oh, it. Oh, yes, please. That it's is on right the 150 Romatin High Street. E96JA. When, when you can't locate the place, please go to Get So Many Miracle Ministries Facebook. The flyer is there and you see the numbers on it. Then you call. Someone will come and take you to the location. Don't, don't be out. Don't be a dropout. Come, let's worship. Oh, yes. The Bible says if we worship, mm. if the name of the Lord is lifted up, he will draw all men to himself. And Mama, I came to realize something that I never knew my worship was a form of evangelism. Yeah, 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 because yeah, when yeah, I yeah, worship, yeah. somebody would be touched and a person would come to God. So oh, why don't yes, you Lord. join us to worship tomorrow? Why don't you come so that the name of the Lord will be lifted high and then people will be drawn to God. People will go out of their sins and they will come to God because yeah, of yeah, your worship. Your yeah, worship yeah. will be a form of evangelism that will draw people closer to God. Beloved, don't yeah. stay home. Join us tomorrow. We need to give the Lord a worship. 365 days. He saw us through last year, Mother's Day, and He's seeing us through again tomorrow. Come, let's worship Him. Your worship can change somebody's life. Yes. Your worship can take someone out of their sins. Your worship can draw men to Jesus. Why don't you come and join us? Let's worship. Come join us. Let's worship. Come join us. Let's worship. He needs our worship.
arguments. We don't need anything else. Mm. Because for a man to live where he is and to come down just because of you and me, he became poor because, because of you and me. He became wretched because of you and me. He was beaten because of you and me. He was nailed on the cross because of you and me. Beloved, is that not enough? Is that not enough? Is that not enough? Is that not enough for you to amend your ways and come back to God? Is that not enough for you to amend your ways and come back to Him? Oh, Jesus.
When you was up for ten months, so who could see and not stand? Then now I pay for it. I'm just saying, maybe you want to know that the spirit is on the Lord. I'm serious, oh. Do you want the definition of witchcraft? It's when you don't like your pastor, but you always want to go and listen to him. So you find fault. I said, are you a witch? I mean, I know you said as a question. Praise the Lord. We need to repent. If you want to make heaven, you have to be serious. You see, this journey is more spiritual than we think. Man of God, please. The, the, the podium is ready, set. The Spirit of God is here, ready. You can jump on it. I'm not even going to introduce him. He knows who he is and you know who he is already. But I just want you to, it just came on my mind for me to tell you. Tomorrow is Sunday and some of you, you're going to church. You don't even like your pastor. You cannot stand your pastor's wife, but you go every Sunday. I beg you. Which spirit is that? Huh? And when people talk about false prophets, false teachers, you also talk about false prophets. Please, are you a false Christian? We need to repent. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm saying that it won't be long. Jesus is coming. It will not be long. Jesus is coming. It will not be long. Jesus Christ is coming. And what are we doing? What are we doing? What is our motive? What is our heart? The state of our heart. Tomorrow, I said some of you will go to church. And you know when the, the moment, the funny thing, the moment they call, the moment they call the pastor to jump on the podium, you, you are there, you are angry. But you know, go home. Oh, you are suspect. Praise the Lord tonight. It is an honor, it's a pleasure for us to welcome to the podium by the grace of God. Pastor, Pastor, we must have been doctor and come on, doctor, apostle, evangelist, you know, uh, as bishop, bishop. I'm telling you, all the titles, praise the Lord. Somebody just give the Lord praise tonight, even as we welcome. Somebody say, I'm really enjoying it. Eh? We need to repent, don't enjoy it alone, please, because Jesus is coming. Praise the name of the Lord, man of God, please come, 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 come. They are ready. They are ready. They are ready. God bless you all. Just listen and be blessed. Please, if you are a hater here, repent. Why? <laughs> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All right. Mama, it's a God to bless you. God to bless you, everyone. Everyone, we love you all. Uh, beloved, we want to see you tomorrow at 150 Martin High Street, E96JA. It's going to be powerful. Mama Esther will be there. Uh, Minister Ivy will be there. I myself will be there and I want to see you. Hallelujah. Uh, I believe I will see you tomorrow, beloved. I want to give you the word of God. <laughs> Today is a preparation towards uh, tomorrow's program. So, uh, beloved, write some, some things that I want to talk to you for about 10 15 minutes and uh, uh, we will enjoy ourselves a little bit here. Then we go home and take some rest for tomorrow's program. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. All right, Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your people are ready to hear from you. Talk to you. Speak to your people. Father, I commit every heart before you. Take the stony heart and give her the heart of the flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Glory to bless you, beloved. You too, Papa. Beloved, today I want to talk to you on a topic which is very, very important. Something that has been taken out of this system in, in the church, in schools, in marriages, all over. Beloved, and, and it's a key. And that key can lead you to heaven, can lead you to your brain to do so many things. And the thing I want to talk about it is obedience. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Obedience. Mm -hmm. Very important key. Very important key. Beloved, let's turn our Bibles to John chapter 2. John chapter 2, John chapter 2. Mama Esther was saying so many things. There are so many people, they go to church, but they don't talk to each other. Beloved, you go to church, you don't talk to your brother. You don't want to see your pastor's face. You don't want to see your pastor's wife. Beloved, beloved, and when they are talking about false prophets, hallelujah, you, you, you join them. 
You know, it's so sad. It's, it, there are some things we need to stop. You call yourself a Christian, you don't talk to your brother, you don't talk to your sister. And the, even there are so many people, when you invite them to, uh, to church, you don't matter what they say. You say, I know this sister because of this sister, so I'm not coming to this church. Hey. And sometimes what I used to ask them, you don't want to go to this church because of this sister. In case you meet this sister at heaven's gate, mm -hmm. what will you do? Mm -hmm. What will you do? Oh, Hallelujah. Unko go and tell you, you will not in the end that then you you go, home. you go. Home. So beloved, there are some situations that character that behaviors we need to change. You don't like like your pastor because he's telling you the truth. The reason why you don't like him is he's telling you the truth. Let me tell you something, beloved. If you want to go to heaven, it tells the I told you that, I told you that they have religious people and Christians. Religious people are those who are in the house of God, but one, they don't like the truth. They don't, those who don't know the truth, and some of them too, they don't like the truth. Those people are those who kill Jesus, and those people, they can do anything. They can, they are in the house of God. They will gossip, they, they can do anything. They, don't care. they can even pay money for someone to kill you, to, or to bring you down, they don't care. So there are so many things you need to we need to change from. Beloved, it's very, very important. Today I want to talk to you on the topic obedience. John chapter 2, one coming down, but I want to uh, I want us to read verse 5. His mother said unto the servant, Whatsoever he said unto you, do it. It's very, very important. Jesus and his mother. Went to a marriage, a marriage in Cana of Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. And when Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage, and the Bible said, And when they wanted one, the mother said to Jesus, said, said, Mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no one. Jesus said unto him, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not what yet come, but by verse 5, his own mother, mother, told the servant, he said, and he said unto the servant, said, whatsoever he saith unto you, do what? Do it. Do it. And you will have what you want. All you need. Beloved, it's very, very obedient, it's very, very important. But this key word has been taken from the system. Now, parents, it's very, very important. Now, children, they don't obey parents. Women don't obey their husbands. Husbands don't love God. Pastors don't obey the word of God. It's very, very dangerous. What is going on in the system is very, very dangerous. But if you read the Bible carefully, from Genesis, the Bible says God called Abraham. He says, leave your country. Your mother said, your father said, go where I go. I am telling you, I'm, I want to show you. He left and he, he went. And because of that, he was blessed. Beloved, let me tell you something. Disobedient. The Bible says disobedience is, is an act of what? Witchcraft. Obedience is the key. If you want to make heaven, be obedient to the word, word of God. Be obedient to your leaders. Be obedient to your husband. Be obedient to your parents. To be, be obedient to your supervisors, your managers. Be clear that every act of disobedience, there's a spirit behind. There's a spirit behind. Because the enemy don't want people to obey the word of God. That's why there's so many people in the house of God, they are living their, heart, their life anyhow. They are living their, their life because they don't want to obey the word of God. But the mother said, said whatsoever he said unto you, do what? Do it. And if you follow what he said, said unto you, then you should have what you need. Because it's very, very important. I remember a man called Saul, the first king of Israel. The Bible said when he was going to war, God told him when you go in case... You, you win your people. The, uh, you, uh, you win the, the war or the battle. Don't take any
anything from there. And the Bible says, he didn't take it all, but the people, he allowed the people. And because of that, he was taken from out of God, from his throne. Beloved, let me tell you something. Pastors, because of the fear of the people, we don't want to tell the people the truth. We don't all want to obey God. We know God is telling us to, or he's pushing us to tell the people the truth. But because of the fear of the people, we don't want to tell them the truth. What is going on? My dear pastor, my dear minister, if you follow the people, you will go to hell. If you follow the people, if you follow the church members, you go to hell. Because they are not ready to go to hell, you know. So if you follow them and you lie to them, we went for a program uh, in the afternoon, and one man of God said something. Say, well, see, lies is like some, it's, it's, it's something you cannot stop. You start from one, you end up in hell. <laughs> you start from one, you end up in hell. So my dear pastor, my dear minister, if you are watching me, let me tell you, obey the word of God. If you you are afraid of your people, you end up in hell. My dear sister, be obedient to the word of God. Obedient to your husband. Children, obedient to your parents. There are so many people in the house, but they don't like the truth. Sometimes I ask, why do you come to church? You come to church, but you want to, don't want to hear the truth. And when the pastors are preaching, you sit at the back and you are insulting them. What is going on? That's a witchcraft. <laughs> Beloved, it's so sad. It's so sad. It's so sad. My brother, my sister, it's time we have to search and look for the truth. Be obedient to the word of God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Your money cannot help and save you. Your color cannot save you. Your ability cannot save you. Your cloth cannot save you. Mm. Beloved, obedience is better than sacrifice. Be obedient to the word. Beloved, I personally believe if you are able to obey the word of God, even at age, beloved, we will not suffer. Beloved, the reason why so many Christians are suffering because of disobedience. Because of disobedience. I remember there was a man who went to a man of God, Elisha. He said, I am sick. He said, go into that uh, river. Go and swim there for about seven times. Put yourself and come out for a seven. He said, what are you telling me? And one of his servants was said, said, ah, master, this man did not ask you even to, to give him money. Just go and just obey. He went there. Just common obedience. The man was healed instantly. So obedience, the reason why your marriage is like that because you are disobedient. The reason why you are struggling, you have been praying, praying, fasting. But the reason why you are struggling is because of disobedience. Hallelujah. We need to change. It's time you need to repent. Repent from your sinful ways. You are too disobedient. We need to change. My brother, my sister, my brother, you call yourself a Christian and you are disobedient. No disobedience can enter into the gate of heaven. No. No. One of the keys to heaven is what is obedient. If you are not obedient, you cannot go to heaven. Apply the word of God in your life. You have to walk by the word, live by the word of God. You are in the house of God and you want to live your life anyway. It's not like that. It's, the, it's an insult. The house of is a place of discipline. A place of discipline. It's not a place you can live your life anyhow. It's not like United Kingdom. You can't even correct your child. You can't correct your child. Hallelujah. But the house of God is not because it's a place that we go prepare ourselves for the second coming of Christ. Hallelujah. So my dear brother, my dear sister, the Bible says, by the truth and sell it not. We can come here and lie to you. My master, God bless you. Amen. So many people are repenting from the assay because of your messages. Mm. I know people, so many people don't like it. But we thank God that people don't like our messages. Mm. But Jesus, when Jesus came, it was like that. When he was standing up, even they wanted to kill him. And he said, because I'm telling you that you want to kill me. Mm. Huh? Mm. 
And because of the truth, yesterday I was telling some of my mommy, said, when Jesus told the people the truth, sister people left him. He, because he told me that if you don't eat my blood, mm. um, and my flesh and drink my blood, mm. and people told him that you are watching this. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Mama said, you know the secret. Mm. And I told Shog Mami that those people left. And the same truth now, mm. people are taking communion. Mm. The same truth that people run away from. Mm. People are taking this communion mm. now. 2,000 years back. Some people ran away from this truth. And now some people have grabbed that truth. And some people take communion every single day. Some people take communion every single day. Beloved, so if you run away from the truth, somebody will take it. And truth is only one. You go and go and, go and you come back. Ah, you come back. It's like a circle. It's like a circle. So my brother, my sister, if you are watching me, God will bless you. But the thing, one thing I want to tell you is to be obedient to the word of God. When you come to this platform, whatever Mama Esther is telling you, take it. Don't think that you can, you can live your life anyhow and still enter into the gate of heaven. No, it's not like that. You can't dress your life, you can't dress anyhow, you can't live your life. No. It's impossible. If we, even in this way, in, in the worldly, in this way, even this worldly kid, uh, kingdom, you can live your life anyhow. No. And talk, talk less about the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. No. It's not like that. So if you have been deceived, there are so many pastors that are deceiving people. So when we are teaching you the truth, they, they don't know what they are doing. They leave them. They are. They are I said, they don't, don't let them dress. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody told um, Mama, uh, Mama, I did that. You, these people, they, by, one day, one day, you go to heaven and they will tell you that those uh, uh, dust, dust, dust. Hallelujah. Beloved, let me tell you, if you go to heaven and they tell you that mm -hmm. because you did not use that makeup, Hallelujah, mm -hmm. because you did not use, use makeup, Amen, it was for you. Beloved, you don't lose anything. Yes. You don't lose anything. It's dust. It's dust. You don't lose anything. You don't lose anything. But if you use it and you go there and they drive you out that one, yeah. you've lost. <laughs> Hallelujah. You will throw all your weight and those things and you throw all of them somewhere. You would at the entrance, but that day it will be too late. It will be too late. Because the angel will not allow you to enter. My brother, my sister, <laughs> by the truth and said it. I said, if it, that's what, you see what the Bible is, is saying. He said, you buy you have to use your money to do what? Buy it. But now we are giving it to you for free and you don't want to uh, accept it. He said, buy the truth and sell it not. So if you buy, make sure you keep it. Keep it. Don't sell it. But now, we, you, this one is for free and you don't want to take it. It's for free and you don't want to take it. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, we love you. That's why we come in here. We spend all our time just shouting, just doing that. But it's not like we don't have something to do. We have so many things to do. But we love you. We don't want you to go to hell. Hell is not meant for you. It's for the devil. So we don't want you to go to hell. Beloved, hell. I used to tell people that you have to go if you want to experience what will happen in hell? Yeah, go you switch on your this thing, your gas cooker, and just put your hand there for about five minutes. <laughs> just five minutes. If you want to experience, just five minutes, you have just five minutes. And come and tell me the results. Beloved, there are some people they think hell is a joke. And what we are telling them the thing is not real, but let me tell you it's real. Hell is real, heaven is real. When you close your eyes, you're going forever. Either heaven or heaven, there's no mediator, there's no mediator. You are going to heaven or you are going to... So you have, you have to check your life very, very well. Don't let people deceive you. Don't let them deceive you. Don't let them deceive you. It's there. Because the Bible says, when the rich man died and Lysos died, Lysos saw it and the rich man, the rich man to saw Lysos. Which means there's hell and there's what? There's heaven. 
So if you want to enjoy your life in this world, enjoy. But eternal life, you, try, you want to enjoy in hell, then you go there. But, beloved, we want to advise you. We have to choose heaven. Heaven. Try your best to spend eternity in heaven. Try your best. Don't live your life anyhow. Don't live your life. This world has nothing for you. And the devil has nothing for you. He has nothing for you. Has nothing. This world is nothing for you. That's why the servant said, say this world is not my home. I am a say we are we are strangers here. We are just passing by. Why you wasting all your time on worldly things? On worldly things. So many people are so busy. No time for God. Busy. No time for God. No time for God. <laughs> no time for God, mama. They don't have time for God. They don't have time. One guy I tried to invite him to church. I said, no time, no time, no time, no time. <laughs> you don't have time. You have time for work. One day, one day you have time to go to uh, uh, to, to Mochi. Hallelujah. And be in the, in the fridge for, for some months. Hallelujah. So, beloved, you don't have time for one. One day you have time. You have time. And you spend eternity in hell. Repent. 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 Beloved, this evening, I want you to give all your heart to him. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. If you go to church and you don't like that, you don't call yourself a Christian. Don't call yourself a Christian. Jesus told them, John chapter 8, verse 31, he said, Jesus told those who believe in inside, if you obey my words, if you obey me, so make sure you obey the word of God. Get closer to your word, of, to, to your Bible. And be obedient to the word. When you go to church, when the pastor is pretty, make sure you write some notes. When you go home, make sure you do your own research. You come and mama and start is preaching. Put your Bible, you're not writing some things now. Write some things down. And cross check. And them kids that want us to tell them lies. You want us to tell them lies. That's what they want us to tell them. But I told say we won't tell them, we will tell you the truth. Mm. Hallelujah. Today, when we went for the uh, ordination, when they were putting the oil, they put the oil, and the, when the, the man, the bishop, was uh, talking to, uh, to them, and I was, I was standing there, and I said, Father, I renew my covenant. He said, are you ready to preach the word in truth? Are you ready? And I said, Father, I renew my covenant. I renew my covenant. I renew. That's the prayer point I was praying. Because I forgot in that, that day, I said, I will preach the word of God in truth. So when I was said that, that's what I called. He said, oh, come here, come here and listen to what you are saying. So don't you go to, don't, don't, don't you go for program like that. Don't stand outside. Say, come and listen. I was standing there and I was praying, say, Father, mm. I am sad today. I have forgotten those words. Those words. My dear pastor, if you follow the, 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 the members, you will go to hell. You will go to hell. Tell them the truth. If, if they don't like you, tell them the truth. If they don't like you, like yourself. Ah, thank you, if you don't like me, I like myself. <laughs> Hallelujah. I like myself. That's how I have mirror. I look at the mirror, I look at myself and say, Ah, I look I like nice. Myself. I like myself. <laughs> if you don't like me, I like myself. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> tell them the truth. Like yourself. Let them hurt you with perfect interest, but like yourself. Mm. But one day, one day, they will know. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. One day, one day, they will know. We will stand before God, though. We will stand before God, though. We will stand before the King of Kings. One day, one day. That's what I always think about, though. I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to tell that man, though. Father, I need your help. I need your help to tell the people the truth. I don't want to lie to them. I don't want to die. Because I know all liars will end up in hell. All liars will end up in hell. He didn't go to church. Pastor, pastor called you. Why well, didn't he go to church? I was sick. He wasn't sick. He went to party. <laughs> Hallelujah. He wasn't sick. 
Even you call, they didn't pick their phone. Then they say, come, ah, I called you, I didn't see it. You saw the, you saw, uh, the call. And even when, not the missed call, when he was calling, he was, he was, <laughs> hallelujah. He was holding the phone. And even was insulting him. Yeah, bastard. I will not pay the phone. He want me to come to church and pay money. I'm not coming. I'm not coming. I'm not coming. Even was insulting him. My brother, God have mercy. Oh. God have mercy. Beloved, let me tell you tomorrow. We will be waiting for you. We want to see you. Come and experience the power of God through worship. It's time for us to worship the Father in spirit and in law, in truth. Beloved, if you come to the, tomorrow, your life will change. Your life will never ever be the same. Today, what I want to leave for you is, beloved, be obedient to the word of God. Don't be a disobedient child. No disobedient child can make heaven. It happened to Saul. Hallelujah. His kingdom, his throne was taken from him. And God replaced, uh, with, uh, replaced uh, him with who? Uh, David. So be obedient. If you are a child, be obedient to your parents. Uh, 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 women, our mother, be obedient to your husband. Husband, be obedient to God. Because if you're obedient to God, you love your, your, your wife. Your wife. You won't beat them. You won't insult them. No. We are in the Genesis where even people bring their wives on Facebook media and insult their yeah. wife. I don't understand what is going on. And you bring, say I love you, no crowd. I love like, you. Yeah, just slap them, crowd. Now the wife are begging on Facebook, no insulting. What is going on? Beloved, mm -hmm. and you beat your wife. You call yourself a Christian. Do you know what you are doing? You are more than even Satan himself. You are even more than Satan himself. Ah! Beloved, there are so many things that is going on. And all those people, some of them are preachers, so. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Beloved, if you don't go to church, find a Bible believing church. Go and worship with them, and you'll be blessed. If you don't have any church to worship with, beloved, then I'm inviting you. Come and worship with us. Hallelujah. It's got so many miracle ministries. We worship at 150 Homerton High Street, E96 J. God richly bless you. The Bible says, they obeyed the word of God, they put the pots and they put water. Hallelujah. At the end of the day, miracle happened. So my brother, my sister, apart from even heaven, if you obey the word of God, you shall receive even your miracle. Yeah. No man just went to the water, just I mean, and just a drink of and all the lep lepers, everything left. He was healed instantly. So if you want to be obedient to the word of God, it will help you. If you make your mind today to be obedient to the beloved, it will help you. The reason why we have, we have gone for deliverance, we have gone for so many things because we are disobedient. You are a disobedient child. So if you make or you change your mind to become uh, an obedient child of God. You will see what will happen to you. Hallelujah. Everything will go well in your marriage in all those things. Because I know you pray a lot, you fast a lot, but the only thing left is the aswadina. That is the most aswadina. Hallelujah. Your ear is very hard. Very, very hard. It's very, very hard. If you can change, God will change your life. God richly bless you. God richly bless you. I love you. I, I believe I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, if you don't break, it will do what? It will crack. It will crack. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come and experience the power of God. And your life will never be the same. I want to pray with you before I leave you. Father, we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we love you. And I commit everybody. Father, those who are watching us into your hands. Father, I pray. And I come again, the spirit of all disobedience that is controlling your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command that power to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. That spirit that is operating in the air, causing people to be disobedient to their wife, to their husband, to their parents, to their pastors. Command your powers to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of the Messiah, God, we need your help. 
fall upon your children's life from today. Cause us to be obedient children of God. Father, I pray for your people. If there's anyone sick watching us, I take dominion and authority over you demon of sickness, you demon of infirmities, you demon of de disease. I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, by the power that is in the name that is above every other name. Let your children be healed. If there's anyone seeking for the fruit of the womb, I decree and I declare, I bind you desert spirit. I bind you spirit behind in the name of Jesus. Barrenness, and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be supernatural consumption in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, so many people want to serve you well, but the enemy is tormenting your people. They will take your hand on God's property. I command you in the name of Jesus. Father, let the ocean that will cause your people to serve you well fall upon your children's life. Father, I believe from today, our, our lives will never be the same. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we thank you. Father, we love you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Beloved, God, we you bless you, Mama, Mama Esther. Amen. God bless you. 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 See, people don't like the truth. So the moment truth comes, people run away. Mm. And when I say it, you say Wahala Day. Why would Wahala Day? Maybe we'll say it, I'll say it. When truth is knocking at your door, open that door and receive it. Because the time is coming, and even now is the time that the true worshippers will worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Praise the name of the Lord. What do we say to the man of God? May the Lord bless you. Every virtue that has gone out of you, we pray that the Lord Jesus fill it in the name of Jesus. Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. His face shine upon you, man of God. May the Lord bless you and your house. May the Lord enlarge your bodies. May the Lord enlarge your coast in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you beyond your imagination in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tonight I hope and I believe you've been blessed. I hope and I believe you've been blessed. Praise the Lord. I miss you guys so much. Sometimes it's good to just chalk small. I'll be back here by the grace of God on Monday. We're having a youth week. Now, from Monday through to Wednesday, three-day seminar, we're going to do and talk about holiness with the youth. Every elderly person has got a youthfulness in them. So if you are elderly, come. Don't worry. But it's about the youth. We're going to start on Monday by the grace of God. It is a prayer that the Lord will touch the youth. Our youth. That the spirit of holiness. The spirit of the living God will really fall upon his people in this end time. Our youth. Our youth is our, is our future. Our children. They are our future. So if our children cannot live right for God, we are in trouble. If our children, you see, if society is raising our children, then we don't have leaders. If society is controlling our homes, if society is controlling the minds of our children, then beloved, the truth is we don't have future because we may not have children who fear God. Children who do not fear God will grow up to be men who do not love God at all. That's what the Bible says, that train up a child the way he should go. When he's old, he will not depart from it. Now, let's focus on tomorrow a little bit. Tomorrow's program is going to be fireworks by the grace of God. And it's my prayer. Uh, somebody says, Sister that you don't know how much I desire to pray much better each day. You should. Sister Jacqueline, you should. Because eternity is just around the corner. And we cannot live like this. We cannot live like this and think we're going to heaven. We cannot compromise and think we'll make heaven. It is my prayer that tomorrow, if you live close by, please make your way there in the name of Jesus. Come and let's worship the Lord together. Praise the name of the Lord. This is our purpose or reason of existence, to glorify God, to worship Him, to make Him great, to make Him big. He's big, but to exalt His holy name, to glorify Him. 
Praise the name of the Lord. So on Monday, it will be tomorrow you need to come. And then on Monday, we will start holiness. Yeah, most of the young people, man of God, are confused. You know, people people call clothes holiness. People call dressing modestly holiness. Everything is holiness. And people are confused. You see, people are confused because we call everything holiness. And our character is intact. Our attitude is not holy at all. In fact, you get close to people and you realize there's nothing holy about people and it's a worry so it's my prayer that you know on Monday wherever you are come that is why most of our youth they suffer from masturbation serious one masturbation married couples suffer from masturbation any little thing that the enemy will creep on to destroy a future he does the enemy is winning and it's a prayer that you and I will stand in holiness somebody's laughing it's serious it is serious you see, we, we do things privately and then we come and stand in the presence of God and lift the same hands. That we don't know that God sees our filthy hands and our filthy hearts. So we're going to talk about what is holiness. I want us to go back to basics again and talk about what is holiness. What at all is this new move that people are disturbing us about? Holiness, holiness, holiness. And the youth are wondering, holiness, holiness. So should we just take off our clothes and cover our hair and we are holy? Praise the name of the Lord. So it's my prayer. Make a date with the Lord and I'll see you on Monday at 9 p.m. by the grace of God. If the Lord permits me to come. And I believe that your life will never remain the same. Please, tonight I've been so blessed. I don't know about you, but I've been blessed. I have been renewed, restored. I've been revived in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh huh. So we need to, you know. Make it, a, make it a date and come tomorrow. Make it a date. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Make it a date and come tomorrow. Some of you, you're Christians because you go to church. Not because you love God. Even when you hear somebody talking about the righteousness or having a right standing with Jesus, you get upset. When you see me, me I'm minding my business. So, now me, I have my own hair. I've covered it. Whether you choose to believe it, your pastor says you should not cover your hair. That is your business. But for me, I'll cover my hair. You understand? And it is my choice for my eternity's sake. I choose to obey the word of God. I will not impose it on you, but I want you to go and do research and pray about it. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, we're going to do it uh, tomorrow live. I, I think so. But uh, make it a date and come, you know. And let's, you know, let's think about this very carefully. Very, very important. It is about time our youth, you see, our youth understand what holiness is and the attributes of holiness. You know, dressing modestly is an attribute of holiness. Praise the Lord. It is part and parcel. Every righteous, every kingdom citizen who calls themselves a kingdom citizen knows that the kingdom of God has its regulations, its rules, its benefits. The kingdom of God is a nation. And it's a nation that has its culture. And the kingdom culture, a way of life, a lifestyle, everything that pertains to the righteous person is important to God. If I say everything as a whole, your inner, outer, everything that pertains to your life as a child of God is very important to God. Just imagine yourself and your child. You cannot tell me your child has a clean heart so they can wear any dirty clothes and walk around. Or your child has a clean heart, so your child can dress anyhow and just walk about. Because their heart is clean. You see, simple analogy, people cannot get it. The Bible says that the, 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 the spiritual things are foolishness to those that are lost. But for us, it is the power of God. You understand? And, and it has nothing to do with doctrine. It has everything to do with the standards of God. The word of God. So if we tell you, you cross check the word of God and it is there, follow it. You can, we are not going to give you direction. We will not give you oil. You see, that is why we're here. And we are not even going to call people to come and hear us because people don't like the truth. Simple. We tell you the facts. What your pastor will not tell you at church by the grace of God. If only the spirit of God gives us the grace, we'll tell you for free. If you follow it and be prayerful, begin to fast and seek the face of God, you, you will know that your life has changed. Because anybody that have an encounter with Jesus never remains the same. Just like the man of God.
God said we must obey. There is a song that says trust and obey for there is no other way. There is no shortcut. There is no direction that is powerful than obeying the word of God. Go and tell your prophets for let your prophet to tell your archbishops that there is no direction that is more powerful than obeying the word of God. Because the principles of God remain sure. God is not a man that he should lie. The Bible says heaven and earth shall pass away by the word of God. Oh boy. So if you want to make heaven the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. So when you go to John, it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Let me write down. It is God. And when you read the Bible somewhere, I can't remember, it says, For the letter kills, but the spirit gives. You see, when you read the word of God without revelation, it, be, it begin to torment your life. Because the, what will make you know that it will torment you is whatever truth you've ever had, if you did not obey, you go to hell. And that word of God you knew, it will judge you. So he said, He who much is given. Much is required. So you cannot, you know, you, you cannot measure your, your your judgment with someone who refused never to worship God at all. Some people in this life have decided they are atheists. Somebody who doesn't believe in anything. You see, when you meet such a person in hell, please, they may have a cool place, Kakra. But for you and I who know the truth. You keep insulting us because the truth we will not stop talking. Yes. Yes. And that is why some men of God don't like us. Me, I'm not ordained by anyone. The Spirit of God told me to do it, so I'm doing it. You don't have to listen to what we do here. The other day, somebody said, Devil, Master, don't worry. Maybe my boss, Jesus Christ, he was insulted and abused. Now, I'm a church rat. If not, I'm a church member, a rat. Chiaka. Obey the principles of God and you'll be fine. What you say? Stop going for all your handkerchief. This in your own room. Look at your look under your pillow. Look under your pillow. You look as a Christian, look under your pillow. Prophet Amma gave you a handkerchief. Prophet Isa gave you a handkerchief. Prophet Baba gave you a handkerchief. Prophet Allah gave you a handkerchief. Everybody gave you how many handkerchiefs are under your pillow? Yet you sleep and demons come and sleep. Now I'm say who say you need Jesus? Huh? You all you need is truth, the word of God. Because he shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Ah! You go to your bathroom, you have salt there. You come to kitchen, there's an oil. Under your bed, there's a rock, there's a there's a stone. When I say I've I've been there, so I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you. And then your children, poor children, all of them have handkerchiefs in their bags. Handkerchiefs na give me and handkerchief sellers will not have problems. For lack of knowledge, my people perish. We are in the end time. Listen to what the man of God said. Obey. Obey the word of God. Obey the principles of God. Follow scriptures, and you'll be fine. And you'll be fine. Praise the Lord. You will be just fine. If the Lord hasn't done it and you have a right standing with him, that, that means the time is not yet. Have relax. Go through your trials with joy. Knowing that Jesus knows all things. And he is in control. The steps of the righteous man is ordered by the Lord. Also, for what amazes me, he did not say that the, the, the nice steps or the right steps. No, no, no. The bad, the ugly the pain, the tears, the steps of the righteous man is ordered by the Lord. You don't get it, eh? And the devil will not have gone to God. It's not even God, the devil who went to Jesus, God, Christ, you know. It's God who told the devil, have you seen my servant Job? And it's the same God. He never changes. If you trust in God, you will be fine. You are roaming about because you don't trust in God. You don't even know him. So the problem is not the prophet. The problem is you. The day you find the truth, you, the prophets will look for you. you they will not get you. When you see the right men of God to support them, you don't want to do it. So the first prophet to 
would, would, would sim your hand and take it and give you salt. A salt that you can cook and eat. And they tell you to drink and keep drinking, put salt and drink. You will get hypertension very soon. <laughs> Finish the salt and then they tell you to drink oil. I said hypertension will soon be knocking at your door. We need to wise up. If you don't have a Bible here, go and buy a Bible. Go and buy your Bible, beloved. Praise the Lord. Go and buy a Bible and begin to sit down. Spend time with the Lord. Spend time with the Lord. Make time for God. You see, many people have been rushing and rushing and rushing. We're looking for money. Money. We're looking for money to buy buildings that we may never sleep in. Lands that our, our legs will never stand on it. Don't you get it? We run around looking for things that we will die one day and leave it all. A day is coming that we realize what really mattered. What really mattered is Jesus Christ and his finished work on the cross. What matter is not where you go. It's you and your personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That is why when I see true men of God, I can't wait to bring them here because perhaps a soul will be changed. A soul, the life of a soul will be transformed. So stop making noise about uh, false prophets. Are, they've come to stay. Old. They are fulfilling scriptures. Yes, yes. Let me tell you something. Yes. The day this false prophet will stop being false prophet, the word of God would have been a liar. Yes. See, I see, I understand yes. that the, uh, you, you have not seen, you ain't seen anything yet. Yes. That a false prophet will come and do powerful miracles. And some of you see your life. <laughs> some of you see your life. You hear of any. Uh, you hear of any, any miracle, you run there. The problem is you. Have a proper relationship with Jesus. Jesus, the Bible says that a day is coming that men will hear that Christ is here. Christ, it did not talk literally about Christ. Eh? People will come in the name of Christ. There's anointing here. There's a prophet here. There's an evangelist here. Hey, are you powerful, Tatashi? And you've been to all of them. Some of them have even slept with you already. Even the very child you are carrying may not be for your husband, and you know it. We need to repent, Ankasa. So tomorrow, make a date with us and join us. For us, we believe that holiness is a lifestyle. True holiness is walking in the righteousness of God, having peace with God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, loving one another, showing the love of Jesus. In any way that you can to your fellow man. You see, we need to understand scriptures and we'll be fine. Mm, what matters is Jesus Christ and his finished work on the cross. All we have to do is to love this man and, and, and obey him. Just obey the word of God. Have you ever seen somebody who trusted in God and has been put to shame before? And so you are the only person the Lord is about to start on you, Abi. We need to change our way of thinking. We need to change our way of seeing things. We need to change our way of, you know, you can't play God. Me, you can play me. And I can play you. But we cannot play God. The Bible says that nothing is hidden before him. Before him, everything is made clear. As the man of God said, I come back to it again, that fear God. Walk in the righteousness of God. Walk in the holiness of God. And you're going to be fine. Obey the scriptures. You see, some of you open Bible and then you sleep like a baby. You open Bible, you sleep. You open Bible, you sleep. This very thing. Man, do you know if you want to hide something from an African man and you put it in a book, you're okay? Because we won't even bother. They'll read the first page and end up reading the last page. And I say a smart old. But the middle is there. The other day I was telling them that you know why many people run, run on Facebook to listen to life? They can't pray again. Yeah. You can't study the word of you yourself don't have a person. Somebody's laughing. You know you don't have a personal relationship with God. But running around social media everywhere will not change that until you sit down and realize I need a personal relationship with you, Father. And you're going to be fine. I'm not going to talk too much. I want you to know that Jesus loves you. And as Papa said, we're not going to hide the truth from you. And I love it when he said, if you don't like me, I like myself. Ah, that's nice. I'm not even going to say I like myself. Well, I like myself. <laughs> I like myself. 
Praise the Lord. Mm, we're not here to be liked. We're here to tell you the truth so you can have eternal life. Mm. And somebody said, ah, 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 hey, how did you know the same thing I'm doing? Yes, yeah, Sister Celine, uh -huh. you open the front and back. You think you're doing somewhere? Uh -huh. We need to change. We need to change. Because the day you know the truth, no man of God will lie to you again. When they start lying to you, they have to pay you for lying. Yes. You have to arrest them. Because you will, you will hand them with the truth, they will run away. Yeah? May the Lord bless you. Be serious, though. Now, eternity is round the corner. I always say, this morning, we all woke up. We all went to bed yesterday. This morning, not all of us woke up. We all woke up this morning. Not some of us have hit this time of the night. Some people have seen their eternity. If only they knew. Ah! And can no be if somebody knew they're gonna go out and have an accident and die, they would have stayed indoors. But death has taken them like rapture. Yes. May we not be caught into eternity on our way, unprepared. The most serious and scariest thing is to is to get into eternity unprepared. May God have mercy on us. May God bless you. May God keep you. May His face shine upon you. Don't ever think that because we don't come, we don't come here too much. Because sometimes you need to you yourself. Me must I need to see God. Eh? Me, I'm not here to be a signboard for you. Bah, bah. You're joking. Hope heaven. I commit to. I want to make heaven. So sometimes I take time off to sit down, study, and spend time with my little boy. Because if I don't train this little boy in the fear of God, don't spend quality time with him. But keep feeding you every day. Am I not hypocrite? It is very important. May the Lord bless you. But it is my prayer. You begin to open your Bible. Please open your Bible, Kakra. If you don't have a Bible, go and buy some. And begin to ask the Spirit of God to give you, you know, give you understanding, insight through His Word. And He will. He is not a liar. He is not, a, you know, He doesn't even look because I'm at this. I'm, no, 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 no. If only you draw nearer to Him, He will draw nearer to you. That is a prayer for you. May the Lord bless you so much. May the Lord keep you. Somebody saying, Sister, I come to Kenya. I'll come to Kenya by the grace of God very soon. Keep us in your prayers because the truth has been hunting us. And people are hunting us. They've turned themselves into spiritual terrorists. <laughs> mm, because we speak the truth. And some of you, every day, you're seeing revelations. Every day. Every day, I rest my case. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you. We love you with the love of Jesus. You always need to know that. And the love is, is pure. Eh? It's very pure. It's genuine. Anybody who cannot tell you the truth is your worst enemy. Your worst enemy is your pastor who will not tell you to repent and walk in holiness. Your worst enemy is a man of God who will not tell you to, to stop wearing provocative dresses and dress like a kingdom citizen. It's your worst enemy who will not tell you to stop being worldly and seek the righteousness of God. Your worst enemy is that friend who will not tell you that you must fear God and walk in the holiness of God. That is why we come here by the grace of God. Oh, we'll tell you the truth. And as pastor said again, if you don't like me, I like myself. The Lord bless you. Once again, we love you with the love of Jesus. There's nothing you can do about it. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow by the grace of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. Unimaginable. Walk in the righteousness of God. And possess your possession. Remember without holiness. None shall see the Lord. God bless you. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed morning. Have a blessed afternoon. Bye-bye. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm, amen, 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 amen. Somebody said, I agree to the truth later. Uh, uh, somebody said, the first time I listened to the truth. Mm, praise the Lord. God bless you. Have a blessed weekend. And keep us in your prayers. Somebody say, me, I don't pray. How can I can keep passing your prayer? Pray. Because of us, go on your knees and pray. And pray for yourself. God bless you. Bye-bye.
know you love me, but no one will see that. Mm, without holiness. Mm, let's sing, let's sing. There's a song. Trust and hope it, for there's no
I said, make me whole again. Jesus, make me whole again, Lord. God, touch my life again. Somebody say, restore me, Jesus. And make me whole again. Ah, make me whole again, Lord. Sanctify me and make me whole again. Somebody say, make me whole again. Somebody say, please don't go away. Make me whole again, no. Okay. Make me whole again. Make me whole again, my God. Make me whole again. Jesus, make me whole again, 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 again. Sanctify me and make me whole again. Tonight, or tonight you have backslidden, you are saying, Father, 
I want you to restore me. I want you to restore me. I repent of my sins. I have done what is evil in your sight. But I pray that you wash me with your blood. Somebody, are you like that here? I want you to lift up your hands with me. You want to give your life to Jesus. And say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I know I'm a sinner, but I know you came to shed your blood for me. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight, I want to take you as my Lord and my personal Savior. I want you to come and live in my heart. I want you to write my name in the book of life from henceforth in the name of Jesus. And let somebody shout and say, Amen. Amen. Funny enough, you know when I come and stand here, my English is very fluent. When I finish coming and speaking English, you will see. Mm. 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 The Lord bless you so much. Have a blessed weekend. Have a blessed evening. Uh, people of God, we all need to analyze, amend our ways, put our homes in order. Because eternity is around the corner. The Lord bless you so much. The Lord empower you. The Lord equip you. The Lord restore and revive you. The Lord bring you out of any pit that you find yourself in. Perhaps you have backslidden and you know it. You can't pray anymore. You can't fast anymore. You don't want to know about anything about Christ or church. You don't want to, you know, associate yourself with believers. You know where you find yourself. Tonight, I pray the Lord restore and empower you. May the Lord revive you. God bless you. Have a lovely evening. We are also having a nice time here by the grace of God. We have the spirit and the body. So as the spirit gets filled with the word. Oh yeah, body. God bless you.